about the issue of money in politics and know that there must be something done about it. Two, people easily understood the issue. It really didn't take much convincing for Bay's theaters to support this initiative. And three, this question brought together unlikely people. Republicans, independents, and Democrats alike signed on to support the creation of this commission. In such times of political division, it is so heartening to see that unity and cross-partisan collaboration can work together to achieve incredible things. This spirit of cross-partisanship is also re reflected in the incredible victory we had in November that mandated the creation of this commission that I said before today. Every single city and town in the Commonwealth voted overwhelmingly in favor to establish this commission. 71% of Massachusetts voters banded together over question two, which is more than any other voting topic last year. Our victory in, New Ham in uh, Massachusetts is not an anomaly, however. These citizen-led cross-partisan wins are happening all over the nation. Just two weeks ago in New Hampshire, um, it became the 20th state to call on Congress to pass this constitutional amendment. And this is the result of the incredible groundwork New Hampshire citizen leaders have done to pave the way to this historic victory. There's more information about the New Hampshire victory, but I would like to paint a little bit more of the national uh, picture. How much time do I have left? You know, have about 30 seconds. Okay. Um, essentially, over 800 cities and towns in America have called for a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United and related court cases. 207 and seven of these communities are right here in Massachusetts. These, seeing these conditions, American Promise has positioned ourselves to be the most strategic in translating these grassroots support for an amendment into Congress and act in, into action in Congress. Um, there's plenty of more information here in my testimony that- Okay, well, thank right you. Now. We have your written testimony. Yes. And that'll be part of the record. So thank you very much. Thank you, and I also Kevin, have- may I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, thank you for those comments. Uh, very, very interesting. This is Bill speaking, Bill Martin. Uh, the 71 percent uh, voted in favor of the ballot question. Do you know uh, how many votes that represented? Uh, I do not off the top of my head, but in my testimony, I do have a link to uh, that exact figure, and that goes over uh, how that's broken down in each county and also by party. Excellent. That'd be an interesting data point. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, yes, sir.